and I'm Billiam, and we are the TG News. Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing day one of another Digi Diary. Um, so in the last Digi Diary I did, I asked you guys down in the comments if you guys wanted to see more Digi Diaries and which ones would you like out of all the devices we had. And I had a good amount of people tell me they wanted to see the X devices because of the new English X's coming out, which I thought was a great idea. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. So I, let's I, talk about that real quick. And also, I'm getting the the black X, the English black X device with red with, with red cage and butt and red buttons. It's got the red X, yep, in there. All right, so let's actually talk about that real quick now. So the X series, there's an X one, two, and three that came out in Japan, and then they're referred as the DMXs, if you guys don't know. Um, honestly, they completely changed how the Digimon V-Pets worked, and they are amazing. So we were super excited and super happy to find out that we were actually getting them here in the West. They're actually an English release for the U.S., and you can pick them up on Amazon um, U.S. I pre-ordered once for Debbie Dude and I already. So but I with the Amazon, hold on Debbie Dude, wait one sec. So with that, they also released special colors. So let's go over them now. They came out in originally a black, which is up here, which Debbie Dude um, pre-ordered. And then they were coming out with another special color over here, which is that purple and orange, which I'm not a big fan of the color scheme on it. Debbie Dude liked the black and red. So we got him the classic colored one. And then they came out with another, originally a white and blue, which we'll have up over here. And then they came out with this like turquoise kind of colored one over there, which is a special English release color, which is I ordered for myself because I thought it was a fun and kind of funky version of it. Because the white is nice and blue. It looks good, but I just thought this would be something a little different. And I just thought it was a little more dynamic. So that's the one I got for myself. Do they have better screens? Mm, that is what we're about to talk about right now. So, I have held off on getting the X1s because they have a notoriously bad screen in them. They are really hard to see. They fixed that with the X2s and then also X3s there. And I held off on getting it because I didn't want it to buy this expensive device that I'd end up having to swap the screen out with, which is easy enough to do with any version 20, which I have plenty of there because they're very easy to get here in the US. And um, I could have easily swapped it out, but I didn't want to spend all that money on this device to just have to mod it in the long run. And I kept on keeping my fingers crossed that we were going to get an English release because they kept on like dropping little subtle hints that they have been thinking about and they wanted to. So then now there are, and they are just as much money as the version 20s. So it is super cheap here in the U.S. to pick them on up and very easy. We have pre-ordered them already. So as soon as they come out, which is about a month from this video posting, there that we're going to be sent them. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed they have fixed the screen because I feel like Bandai knows from hearing from us plenty of times online about the screen issues. And if they didn't, it's not a big deal for me to swap it because it's cheap enough. It's... With that, we're gonna actually be starting up our X2s between Devi Dude and I. We have both versions, the red and the purple, which have slightly different rosters of Digimon on them. And I'm gonna be starting up my X3, which Devi Dude doesn't have the counterpart X3 yet, but we're gonna do it some Sometime I, soon for I, you. I wish I had the counterpart one because that's a special evolution for Diablo Mom. It does. And we got the two counterparts of the X1 pre-ordered for us. So between the both of us, we'll end up eventually having every one of them together, which I think is super fun and super cool that we do it that way together. Yeah. Yeah. And um these actually follow a special story too that came with a little comic a little manga 
pamphlet on the inside of each one of the Japanese ones. I don't know if we're going to get that with the English release. That'd be really cool if we got an English version of that comic. So and if we did... We I, would definitely read it. Well, absolutely read it. But we would... I would really expect them to follow suit and release the two and three then, if that did. If it doesn't come with the manga, the little fold-out comic there, I don't think we're going to see a future release, just personally, for the other ones. But we never know. And like I said, they follow a story. And for the most part, the V-Pets always kind of had their own story and lore to go along with them. But these ones actually have a whole overarching story, which is really cool. And maybe we'll go over that sometime. If you guys want to see that or hear more about that, we'll talk about it there. What's the name of the fusion of all the seven demon lords? Agunimon. Agunimon. Yes. So let's actually get into the squad update, which the only thing I actually have going on is my vital bracelet right now because my Woodmon died on me, sadly, from the last video. But I did hit over here into... Blitz Greymon, which is, again, super hard to see here. I will also have up on the screen with them. There, a Blitz Greymon. And with that, I'd also unlocked Dundevamon on here and completed the adventure missions. So I will be starting up... Ah. We'll be starting up a new game now to begin Dundevamon along with this. But this is actually a DMX Digidiary. So there's not going to be much vital brace there. Exactly. I'll be obviously showing them off as we go, but we're not going to be focusing on the vital bracelet. So with that, let's actually start these up and start up the day. I already have mine started you up. You already have you started up. And on the X2, you start here with Yaman and Kimon. Well, Kimon and Yaman, but you are at Yaman already there. I like to tab mine when I'm not using them. So if you guys have never seen it before, this says yellow X. We're going to go load and set the time. All right. And now with these X devices, you have what they call the Xy roll, which will affect you in various ways throughout the game. There. And I got a Xy roll of a six for today, which you push the top two buttons here to start. And there's my egg. And now, let's pull the tab here. Red. This is the red one. Load. And set the time again. Get my Xy roll, which is a 1, which is the lowest. And we are going to push the top 2 this time and show it. And there's my egg. Let's just go side by side, the two eggs here. All right, so let's go over this device just a little bit. Some of the new things with this. Oh, I got our first one hatching. We'll show the hatch. Boom. Time to take care of them. Yep. And babies call a lot. They do when you got the babies going. All right, so the big thing we're going to go over right now is your Xi rolls. They affect your training really, in the battles, is what it is. And on this device, you have two different types of training. Normal, and then Excite. And your Xyroll will actually change your Excite. And it goes back and forth, and you gotta get the stop right there on the pillars. And they added close-ups to this, which is a super awesome feature that they added. But your Xyroll there will expect the, will affect the speed of it going back and forth is what it is. And as you saw there, I got a high Xyroll. My speed is slower and easier to get it to stop. And we'll show it off on this one here. Since I got a bad Xyroll, the difference. Sight. You see how much faster it was and harder for me to get it to stop. And now it's going to say I got a bad one because I, I didn't land on any of and them. I... And we're also not going to get a close-up out of them either. 
But another you got new. Three. No, three is not terrible. And I was awfully angry. But, but another neat feature that they added to these ones out of any other ones was the close-ups. As you guys saw there, every Digimon, even the Digimon you fight against, have a close-up. And that was a super awesome feature, which now they've carried on to other future devices like the Pendulum Zs. Which I think they're not going to get rid of that. I think that's going to be the future of Digimon V-Pets there. All right, guys. We've talked enough here. We got some babies to take care of. We'll get back to you guys again with the next part of this tomorrow and show you guys some child level Digimon. All right. Peace. Hey guys, we're back with day two. We're back with day two and everybody has now hit child level. So let's What's start. Mine? We'll start with yours. Yes. Okay. So on your X2. Hold it still for a second there. There you go. Ipmon X, which is super cool. And then on my X2, I've got Black Agumon X. And then over here on the X3, I've got Terriermon X. And since we're doing it, we'll just show off here on the Vital Bracelet. I've also hit child level. I've got Agumon now. Okay, so on all of these X devices, each one has their own certain line of Digimon that's kind of special to that one device. Like, these two Xs both have very similar rosters on them. There's a lot of overlap Digimon, but at the same time, they both have certain Digimon you can only get on one or the other. There. Like, like yours, you can only get... Um, there's Mon and Demon. Yes. And Mon, and you can only get Loose Mon. And yours, you can only get Loose Mon on. Yes. And then on the other ones are there's a basically there's a signature Digimon for each of the evolution stages once you hit um child level. So, Debbie Dude actually got the signature one for this device, which is Impmon X. And then on mine is Black Agumon X. And then again on my yellow, I went and got the signature Digimon for that device too. So let's actually start looking at some of the differences here on the X's than some of the other previous devices, which is a cool feature that I like they added to this one, which is levels. So let's go and check this out. Here, we're going to go over to our stats. It's going to say our Digimon's name, which when we do get the English versions, it's going to have English names. Probably. Yep. It's going to have his, how old they are here and how much they weigh. And then we're going to go with the hunger hearts. Normally feeding one time would give you one full hunger heart. But on the X devices, it goes by half hearts. So feeding one time is going to fill half your heart. Feeding two times is going to fill the whole heart. Then we're going to go to our strength. In which again, these are going to be full hearts for this one. Our effort, and then it's going to give you your Digimon's level here. That's what this is going to be indicating. So I'm at child level. And then here is going to give me my actual child level's level and how much XP I have earned for that Digimon. And the levels here, and then my win loss percentages, where I haven't done any battles yet. Okay. So. Your levels there will affect your evolutions. It really doesn't affect your evolutions until your adult level. And then your adult level on evolutions will then start to matter. Um, when you're going from baby to, to child and child to adult, your effort is what's really going to dictate in your care mistakes, your evolutions. But once you hit adult level, then your level will start to help dictate what evolutions you'll have on from there into perfect, ultimate, and then these devices, super ultimate levels there, which is a really neat and cool feature. The seven demon lords are the considered the super ultimate levels on here. Oh yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, but they don't. All right, so I think it's time for something fun. What do you think, Debbie dude? Yeah! Monster 
we do have this super cute wizard mon sticker. It's super nice quality. All right, so we picked out a spot already for this sticker, so let's put it down here by Bakuman is what you picked. Yes. Two Nightmare Soldiers. Going with a nice Nightmare Soldier theme. Over. This is a really good sticker, this one. Yeah. Put them right here, going this way. There we go. Another new sticker. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for today's portion here and talking about our child level and the leveling here. Tomorrow, we'll hopefully be hitting adult level on everybody, and then we'll actually show you how to level your Digimon there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, guys, we're back with day three. Day three here. And now everybody has hit adult level. Let's so start with mine. Who do you have? Who do you got? Cedramon X. Yes, Cedramon X. I was super surprised. Debbie Dude's doing a blind blind run through on him, so I haven't really been helping him at all. He's been doing it all on his own. So I was super surprised when you ended up getting Cedramon X, yeah. which is a new Digimon for you. Yes. Well, we've been arguing about this. He claims he's had one before, and I don't think he has. We've been going back and forth on this. There. No, I haven't. That was only the one time. Well, again, one time would be one time before. Okay, so you want to show off his close-up? Yes. Oh, that looks so cool, and it shoots a giant wave. We got two. Nice. So on my X2, I got Dark Tyranomon X, which is one of the special Digimon on this device. And that is super cool. So let's check out his close-up now. That's cool. And then on my X3 yellow, I've got Darugamon here. So let's check him out. Which he doesn't really look a whole lot different sprite wise than Dorumon. Can I see him? Here, let's show off his close-up. Even his close-up doesn't look a whole, di whole lot different. It kind of has like a scar or scratch on his face, it looks like. Now that we've hit adult level here, now that we what we mentioned yesterday about levels is more important. So we're going to go through on what the levels really are and how you can level up your Digimon. So your levels start every time you Digivolve over again. And each evolution has a certain cap level they can have. So for instance, the baby level is cap level at level 1. Then baby 2, I believe, is also level 1. And then once you get to child level, your cap level is level three then. And then once you get to adult level, your cap level is level six. And I'll show the difference off here with these two, because I had maxed out this guy's level over here in my yellow. And there's a little star there next to the six. Meaning he is at max level and my XP is dropped down to zero. While over here, with Dark Tyranomon, you can see I'm at level five and my current XP is 480. So the way you increase your level is through battling on the device. Battling another device and linking them up like Debbie Dude is doing does not actually increase your Digimon's level there. That'll just 
deal with the win loss ratios, which aren't really important on these devices. But your Digimon, you can battle other Digimon through the device itself. But then when you win that battle, you'll get XP points. And those XP points will get towards your leveling. Another way to level up is through the... Coliseum battles! Through the Coliseum battles. So let's show that off right now here on my X2. Because I haven't finished leveling yet my Dark Tyranimon. So this little trophy right there on the top is the Coliseum battles. You can click that. And it will show off all the ones that you can battle at, all these different areas. I've already beaten all these, so I have all of them unlocked and ready to go. A little pro tip though, on the X2 and the X3, level area 13 is a great one for level grinding. It's an easy to beat enemy. On the X2, it's all Numimons. And on the X3, it's two Numimons and then an Omecamon. So they're really great for level grinding against. And they give you what you call an XP chip there, or XP item there to increase the amount of XP you can get. Okay, so we're going to hit area 13. It's going to say the boss Digimon is Numimon. Click that again. It says we've got three enemies to fight here. You've got these awesome little animations. You've got your Zyrol for the battle itself, which I got a really good one. I got seven, so that means it's going to go nice and slow for me. There we go. You see, guys, how slow that went there? This is 13, Dada. Yep, area 13. That's my Dark Tyranimon X versus Numimon X. Now my Citronon versus Numimon X. Nice. I, I got a one. Oh no, that's gonna go super fast then. Oh, whoa! I got the tiny black spot. Awesome. Oh, we used our special attack and we took him out in one hit. He dodged mine. Nice job, Dark Tide Random on 220 XP. Okay, so now if you're going to sit here and keep on doing lots and lots of level grinding, it can really take up a lot of time there to sit there and watch all that animation. So what you can actually do, oh, I got a two that time. Not so great. Nope, still got a nice hit. What you can actually do then is just push the middle button and skip the battles. Got my XP. Just keep on pushing and you can keep on skipping all of this stuff and get right down to the meat of it which really helps when you're doing a ton of level grinding. I got a six. Oh, good job. Ah. And that time I didn't hit it spot on on the best spot, but I think I'm strong enough I can still take this new Mimon. Let's find out. Yup. Got another 220 XP. I leveled up, hitting max level now, clearing the area and gaining my item, a little package on a balloon. There we I go, got, my XP item. I got a one. Oh, no. So that's it for the Coliseum. You can keep on going through different levels. We'll have more and more enemies you can fight. But for child level and adult level, if you want to do some good level grinding, I highly recommend level 13 for these two devices. They give out lots of XP, and they're easy to fight Digimon, and you can get that XP item there. And if you use the XP items then it'll increase the amount, it'll actually double the amount of XP you get, so you can level grind even faster for your Digimon. And speaking of items, we'll talk about that again tomorrow, all the items you can get. Hey guys, we're back with day four. Day four now, and everybody has hit perfect level. Yes. Except the vital bracelet. One more thing I wanted to add about levels that I didn't mention yesterday, is that when you're doing your training and your fighting, when that bar is going back and forth there, the bars that you actually stop on will get wider as you get higher levels there. So when you first start out, they're only like two little pixels wide. And by the time you hit like max level, they end up being like four pixels, maybe some of them maybe five pixels wide there. So your leveling does give you an advantage too, not just to help you to get different evolutions also. So, with that done, let's talk about who we have. You go first. I got 
Mega Seedramon X. Yep. You've got Mega Seedramon X, which is a brand new Digimon for you. You've never raised him before. Let's check out his close up. Yeah, pretty much everyone. Here, what's that? Except yeah. the evolution is new for me. Yeah, so far all of these have been new evolutions for except, you. Except for Impmon. Except for Impmon. Yep. Oh, you got a pretty wide bar. You've been doing some leveling, haven't you, Debbie Dude? Yeah. Except for Imon. Yeah, Imon is the only Digimon... Ooh, that's a nice close-up. Imon is the only Digimon that you've had before so far. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so we'll go with my X now. And I have... Metal Greymon Virus Type X, which is a mouthful. But a super awesome and fierce-looking Digimon. Which Metal Greymon Virus Type X actually looks different than Metal Greymon X. They're, they're slightly different in appearance. Alright, so let's check out his close-up now. I have to see this. I have to see it. Awesome! Yeah, right? Yeah. What's the again? Metal Greymon Virus Type X. Metal Greymon Virus Type X. But well, it's not black. Because the virus one is black, but it doesn't have black in his name. And Metal Greymon Virus Type X is the signature Digimon for this device for the perfect level. He's like the special one there. And so far, I've been following along with that evolution line. There, and, so far. And this special one for mine, and the is 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 uh, Vandimon X. Yes, Vandimon X is the special one for yours, the special part of your level. All right, so now let's go to the X3 here. And I've got Doru Gadadudamabadavan. This guy, I have a hard time pronouncing his name. I have a hard time pronouncing a lot of the names. So I'll have it down here, as you guys can probably see at this point already. And honestly, I don't think his sprite's really that impressive, but he was new for me. I haven't gotten him before, but his close-up is really good. So let's check out that close-up now. Now that looks a lot different than the other Doru evolutions there. And I've been following so far on this one, the Doru evolutions. Um... I'm definitely going to be end up changing it up, I think. I don't know exactly yet. I haven't done anything to mine yet, any leveling, and I've gotten no care mistakes so far. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to go evolution-wise on that. But let's get into today's portion on items now. So one thing they added to these devices are uh, items, items that will help you throughout the yeah. game in different ways. In different ways. Yes. You're just going to repeat me everything I say? Yeah, I did to repeat me everything you say. I, you say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to get to your items, you go over to your food. And you see your normal meat here and your normal vitamin. But if you keep on selecting down, you get to items like the big meat, which will completely fill all of your hunger hearts. You got the big vitamin, which then will completely fill all of your training hearts. Then you got the HP chip, which gives you extra HP. I don't know if it's a chip or not, this is what I call it. But you get the HP item, which gives you extra HP in battles. You have the AP item, which gives you extra attack points. This one gives you an automatic seven on your Xy roll for your battle. This one is a warp gate, which will then bring you to the last Ball, it'll automatically bring you the boss, skipping all the other guys you, you would have to fight. And this one is the XP item, which doubles the amount of XP that you get from battling. There's one more item that I don't have on that one. So let's see if I have it on this one. I can show it to you guys. All right, so we'll go down. There we go, the power one. That's the final item there. Okay, so with that, 
is going to be the end for today. Um, these Digi Diary videos have tend to be getting pretty long, so I decided to try something out this time and breaking up into a part one and part two, especially since I wanted to give you guys a lot of information about these X's. There's a lot to them. And I know a lot of people are out there ordered them when they became available on Amazon who's never had them before. So this is a good way to kind of give a lot of information to people. So we're gonna stop there on day four with the part one, and then part two, which will come next week, is gonna pick up on day five, continuing with our evolutions and everything. We post new videos every Friday, so this is gonna be next Friday's episode there. Right, Debbie, dude? Yep. All right. Um, one thing I wanna know from you guys is, did you order them? I wanna know what ones you guys did order. If you ordered both A and B, or if you ordered, was it all four colors, which color you did? I really wanna hear from you guys. So let me know down in the comments which ones you guys got. And if you didn't get one on the pre-order, cause I know they sold out, I know they are gonna get more. Do you plan on getting it then? All right, so with that, as always, if you guys like this video, make sure you giga blast that like button. And touch the video and the subscribe button. I had to do this quick because I'm in the middle of a battle. <laughs> If you want to see more from us, we greatly appreciate it. We greatly appreciate all of you guys out there. So make sure you have a digitastic day in which Debbie Dude, good luck on this battle.